The first thing we have to do to create our Google site or digital portfolio is to make sure that we have a Google account. Uh, now, a few things on the Google account. A Google account um, includes Gmail, uh, which is Google's email uh, program. If you already have a Gmail address, then you already have a Google account. If you don't have a Google account, uh, watch this video and we will get you set up with one. If you do have an account, go ahead and get logged in and you can start with the second video. To create your account, um, I've gone ahead and launched the Google Chrome internet browser. You can do it in any internet browser. You don't have to use Google Chrome. But something I wanted to point out is that when you launch Google Chrome, if you haven't uh, changed your default uh, landing page, you get uh, this option, Welcome to Chrome. And you can sign in with your Google account, uh, regular email and password. Now, we don't want to do that. Uh, in most cases, uh, the Chrome internet browser will store like our bookmarks, our favorites. If we've added Chrome extensions or apps to it, it'll keep that. When you sign into Chrome, you want to do that on a computer that is your personal computer or laptop, for example, that travels with you. Um, I do not recommend it doing it on a shared computer, especially um, in a school or at a place of business. Uh, so if, when you see this, don't be confused. You want to log into your Gmail or Google account, you don't want to log into Chrome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click gmail.com or type gmail.com. And here I can put my username and password. Now, obviously, um, I need to create an account. So up here in the top right hand corner, there is an option to create an account. I'm going to click, click here. All right, and over on the left hand side, I get some information about what the Google account is. Um, you can take a minute to read through that. They'll, they'll update it and change it frequently. Here is where you would put uh, your information. So let's create a, an account for, let's use Ethan. And Ethan's last name is going to be Jones, Ethan Jones, okay? And Ethan wants to use ejones at gmail.com. Ha, huh, someone has already taken that username, try another one. So increasingly as more people kind of get on the Gmail train, uh, we're going to be running out of options for usernames because there can only be one username, right? So a lot of people um, put uh, numbers like maybe um, a birth date um, or an age or something at the end of it. Uh, some people do fuller names uh, separated by periods. So let's try this one. Okay, um, hmm. E. Jones 25. Wow, there are a lot of E. Joneses. Maybe I should have chosen a different one. Okay. Okay, let's say he's creating this account for school. Uh, maybe he puts his first name, last name, and then that this is a school account. He might actually put the name of his uh, school here. So we'll just use this one. And create a password. Uh, notice that the password strength, it needs to be at least eight characters. Uh, don't use a password from another site or something too obvious like your pet's name. And you can click here and find out more information. While I'm going to create a password. Okay, and birth date. Now, here's where we get into a little bit of trouble, or some people get into a little bit of trouble. Let's say Ethan Jones was born July 30th, and if you're not 13 years of age, uh, Google will not let you create an account. So, if you try to create an account and it indicates your birth date indicates that you're um, under 13 years of age, uh, Google will remember the IP address that your computer is um, using and they will block you from creating a Google account um, on that computer for a certain period of time. Uh, at least that's been my experience with it. Uh, you want to be 13 years of age or older or you do this with a parent and you get your parent to set up an account that they have access to and that you can use. Okay, so that's a very important note about the birthday. Ethan is male. Um, I'm not going to put a 
phone number or email address here, but if I were you, I would put your parents' cell phone number or another email address, um, such as your parents' work email address, uh, just because if you get locked out of your account, you're going to wish you had another way to get back in, and, and these are two ways to provide uh, Google with information to help you reset your password. All right, prove that you're not a robot. This is called a CAPTCHA code, C-A-P-T-C-H-A, -A, CAPTCHA code. Um, you can verify via phone, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, and I'm terrible at them, so let me go ahead and get a new challenge, see if I can do that better. Okay. Okay, and I agree to Google Terms of Service. Um, I would prefer that Google not use my account information, so I'm going to uncheck that and choose Next Step. Okay, now uh, Google Plus is uh, Google's version of Facebook social networking. Uh, it wants me to add a profile fo photo now that it would use um, across all of the Google products, uh, Gmail and Google Plus. Um, as well. I'm not going to do that so I'm going to go ahead and click next step and then continue to Gmail. Okay, now I've created a Google account and notice I can take a minute and read uh, some of the information that uh, Google has given me um, to help me get started with Gmail. Thanks for watching.